Hey kiddos, uh, here we go. We are getting into lesson seven already. I cannot believe it. Um, yeah, lesson seven. Um, we are going to be rounding numbers. It's going to be wonderful. We're going to use something called a vertical number line. It goes like this. It's not your typical number line that is horizontal, but the number line that we're going to be using uh, as an aid in our rounding is a vertical number line. Um, we are going to be rounding in a few different ways. We're going to be rounding uh, in tenths, in the tenths, to the tenths place value, sorry, hundredths, thousandths, ones, tens, hundreds. It's going to be fantastic. Um, oof, bears look a little rough. Late night last night watching those bears beat the Seahawks. Um, that's another story. We are going to see this type of rounding on our celebration of learning. So please be very thoughtful as you're watching this video. If you need to pause and think about it, please do so. If you need to pause, work on the problem a bit and play, please do so. Or if you need to pause, rewind and listen to me talk and explain, uh, talk again or explain the vertical number line, please do that as well. Uh, so here we go. Hey kiddos, let's uh, get into L7 here. Today is September 18th, 2018. We are going to be rounding numbers, as you guys know, and we are going to be rounding them across a few different place values. First, we're going to look at 3.1. 3 and 1 tenth. There are zero hundredths in 3.1. I'm just going to label that there. So we're going to use these vertical number lines, and we're going to round 3.1 to the nearest hundredth, and then to the nearest tenth, and then to the nearest ten. So we're going to set these vertical number lines up in a very specific way. I'm going to show you how to uh, set up this first one. Uh, we're working with 3.1. So at the very bottom, for this example, the low side is going to be 3.1, or 3 and 10 hundredths. The difference between the low side and the high side has to be whatever we're rounding to. Here we're rounding uh, by hundredths, so the difference between the low and the high side has to be hundredths. So in order to figure out what my high side is on this vertical number line, I need to add one hundredth. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. We've got our decimal. So three point ten plus one hundredth is three point one one. So our Low is 3.10, our high is 3.11. The distance between our high and our low has to be whatever that vertical number line has dictated for us. Where this is going to be hundredths. Now we need to figure out the middle. Figuring out the middle might be a little bit more straightforward if you label um, any, if you fill in the fact that we have zero thousandths here. Now what we can think about is, hmm, what number do we find halfway between 110 and 100? Well, the number that we find halfway between 110 and 100 is 105. But that's 105 thousandths. So the number that we'll find directly in between 3.11 and 3.1 is 3.105. Feel free to fill in zeros to the right of the decimal place. That way we can look at 110 and 100. We're trying to figure out the halfway point. Halfway point between 110 and 100 is 105. Okay, so now we've set up our vertical number line. What we need to do next is plot this number on the vertical number line. Where does 3.1 or 3.10 live? Well, in fact, 3.10 is right here on the vertical number line. Right there. Our number that we're rounding is our low point. So we will be, we will be tr uh, tracking or placing a lot of different numbers on the vertical number line. Um, sometimes we'll 
we'll find ourselves up here or up here. The rule is if we're above the halfway point, we will round up. You guys know if we're below the halfway point, we will round down. But since our number is the low point, we're rounding, we're kind of doing a lateral rounding. This number, 3.1, is already rounded to the nearest hundredth. So our 3.1 or 3 and 1 tenth rounded to the nearest hundredth is going to be 3.10 or 3.100 or 3.1. Okay, I know that's a lot of information. Let's look at the tenths. Tenths. So we are looking still at the same number. We are going to go ahead and label 3.1 as our low side. Here we are rounding to the nearest tenth. So my distance between my low and my high needs to be one tenth. So what is 3.1 plus one tenth? Well, 3.1 plus 1 tenth is 3.2. Okay, so our, our low point is 3.1. Our high point is 3.2 because, again, the difference between our low and our high point on these vertical number lines is dictated by whatever place value uh, has been given to us. Here we're rounding to the nearest tenth. So the difference between our high and our low is going to be 1 tenth. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and add a zero here and add a zero here because we don't have anything in the hundredths place value. The reason why I'm doing that is that it's going to give us a really great snapshot of the high 20 hundredths and the low 10 hundredths. And we need to figure out what number do we find exactly halfway between 3.2 and 3.1 or 3.20 and 3.10. Well, I know that 15 comes halfway between 10 and 20. So our midpoint is 3.15. Now what we need to do, friends, is we need to place this number 3.10 on our vertical number line. Again, 3.10 is going to fall right here. So we don't have to worry. We know that we're not going to we're not going to travel this whole distance of the vertical number line. Again, the low side of our vertical number line is the same as our number that we're rounding. So we're going to round to 3.1 or we're just going to kind of stay there. That's, that's rounded to the nearest tenth. We're going to look next at tens. Let's find a different color. We're going to look next at tens. So here on tens, our low point is going to be zero. The difference between our low point and our high point needs to be 10. So what is zero plus 10? Well, zero plus 10 is 10. So now we have our low point and our high point labeled. Now we need to figure out what number do we find halfway between zero and 10? That number is five. Okay, so we have our low high and middle points labeled. Here we're rounding to the nearest 10. So the difference between our low and our high must be 10. Now we need to plot 3.1 on this vertical number line. Where does 3.1 land? Well, it lands, we have zero and five. I know halfway between zero and five is 2.5. 3.1 is a little bit more than 2.5, 3.1 is going to sit right about there. Now I need to analyze this distance and this distance. We're rounding to the nearest 10. So are we going to travel all the way up to this or are we going to travel all down to this? We have one 10 up here and then our next 10 is going to be here. Even though this isn't 10, this rep represents obviously zero tens. I need you guys to think about which is the shorter distance. When we're rounding, we want to round towards the short. We want to be really effective with our rounding. So is it going to take me longer to travel this distance up to 10? 
or will it take, or is this a shorter commute down to zero? So think about which distance is longer. We're not going to travel all the way up here because that is too long. We want to travel or round down to zero because as you guys can see, this distance is much shorter. We're below the halfway point, so we are going to round to zero. So believe it or not, when we're rounding 3.1 to the nearest 10, we're rounding to zero. Kind of cool, huh guys? Okay, kiddos, let's take a look at another problem here. Let me change my color. We are looking at 100, oops, going off the place value chart here, 115, and that decimal point equals an and, uh, 376 thousandths. So we are um, going to be rounding by hundredths, ones, and tens. Let's check out hundredths first. Um, I want to go ahead and set the low. So our low is going to be 115.3, oops, I was trying to write 115 point, let's try that again, thank goodness for erasers. Our low is going to be, keep trying, uh, 115, what's going on here? We are done with you eraser, you've had your moment, 0.37, okay. We're rounding to the nearest hundredth. So what is going to be the difference between the high and the low? Well, the di difference, Mrs. Calamaris, is going to be one hundredth. So in order to figure out our high, we are going to add one hundredth to our low. 115.37 plus uh, one hundredth is going to be 115.38. So that is our high. Before we plot this number on our place value, on our vertical number line, we need to figure out the, the midpoint. That is going to be really, really e-word once we add a zero to represent that we don't have any thousandths in the high or the low. So what number do we find halfway between 115 and 380 thousandths and 115 and 370 thousandths? Or you can think about 380 and 370 hoping that a lot of you are realizing that the midpoint is going to be 115 and 375 thousandths because 375 comes halfway between 380 and 370. Okay, now we need to plot this number 115 and 376 thousandths on our vertical number line. Is that going to live down here? Or is that number going to live up here? Well, this number and this number are very close. In fact, super close. So this number, 115.376, is going to live just above the midpoint. Because 115.376 lives just above the midpoint, we are going to round up. That is the shorter, the shortest distance for this number to travel in rounding land. So we will round up. Um, let's go ahead and look at ones. 115.376, we're still looking at the same number. Uh, we're going to set our low as 115. When we're looking at our high, we need to have a difference of one between our high and our low. 115 plus one is 116. Now we need to figure out our midpoint. What? I'm going to label the fact that we have zero tenths in both of these numbers. What number are we going to find halfway between 115.0 and 116.0? Well, we are going to find 115.5. Halfway between 115 and 116. Next, we need to figure out where does this number live? Does it live upstairs, meaning above the midpoint, or downstairs, meaning below the midpoint? 115.376 
let's go ahead and add our zeros where there are blank spaces because it'll give us a, a better understanding of exactly what these numbers are. So I'm looking for 115.376. Is that going to be upstairs? No, this is 115.5. It's going to be in this lower section, kind of right about there. Now when we're thinking about, so this is going to be 115.376, this red dot right here. Now are we going to be rounding down or rounding up? Well, we are going to be rounding down, Mrs. C, because we want to travel the least distance. This, since we're below the midpoint, we are going to go ahead and round down. Since we are above the midpoint here, we round it up. Let's see what's going to happen in tens. So we are going to plot this number one more time. Um, if 115.376, we want to round to the nearest tens. So we want to look down and think, what if I were to reach down and touch the nearest 10, and I am 115.376, that's me, I'm going to reach down and touch 110. That is the nearest 10. If I were to reach up to grab the nearest 10, the nearest 10 when I reach up is 115.376, the nearest 10 is 120. I've set my low and my high. The difference between these two numbers is 10 because here we're rounding to the nearest 10. Next, we need to figure out what number do we found, find halfway between 110 and 120. That will be 115. Next, we need to figure out where do you live? Do you live upstairs or downstairs on the tens vertical number line? Well, you're going to live just right above the midpoint because we're 115.376. This is 115.000. So when we're rounding, we're going to round up because we are closer being above the midpoint. We are closer to 120 than we are to 110. We want to travel the least distance so we can be efficient. Okay, guys. So, um, oh, I cut off there. Um, I understand that this can be a little confusing. Everything that is new is confusing almost always. We will work on this tomorrow and we will practice this uh, together. I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you for the wonderful day today. Secret word is um, what did I reward you guys with after having such a fabulous uh, math workshop today. I was really, really impressed with how you guys uh, got your work done and how you tra transitioned quickly and pretty quietly. So the secret word is, how did I reward you guys? What did you receive? I will see you guys in the morning. Keep up the great work. Bye.